Good morning, everyone. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday. I hope everybody is having a fabulous day. My name is Erin, and today we're going to be covering personal websites and getting the website all set up and kind of showing you some different things within the system. So we're going to be covering that today. Um, and the next week, we're going to cover a marketing makeover that um, if you're a lender, you get to have your personal website customized as well as your loan officer banner. And then uh, real estate agents, you get to have your personal website, your property website, and then other marketing materials customized. So we'll go through and do some of the different customization. Uh, brokers, you can do a broker website and have it roll down to all your agents, and we can do a property website. So there's a lot of great information that we'll cover next week that kind of go along with the personal websites. But I wanted to show you some different stuff today. And so this is going to be the personal websites. And then next week will kind of be part two where we go into marketing makeover and getting the customization done. So um, we have that in the works. Um, so we'll do personal websites today. Next week, we're going to cover marketing materials and then also or, uh, the marketing makeover. And then on the 5th, we're going to do a, a question and answer day. So there's not going to be a specific topic. So if you have questions, send me an email with them. Jot them down as they come along. And that's stuff that we can actually do a webinar and cover. I like to do question and answer days here and there just so we can kind of get some open-ended questions out on the table and answer those questions. So send me an email with your topic or your question that you'd like to learn more about. And that's going to be, my email is erin, E-R-I-N, at agentmarketing.com. Erin at agentmarketing.com. So send me your questions. Again, that's going to be July 5th. I figure that's perfect for the day after 4th of July in case anybody happens to miss. Obviously, they are recorded. Um, but I do want to do that question and answer day, so that way we can kind of get some good little uh, questions out there. And I like to hear from you. I want to know what you guys want to learn more about and all of that. So definitely really important to make sure you send me over those questions so we have some topics for question and answer day. Um, so that's kind of uh, my schedule for the next few weeks. And then we do have some new stuff I'm so excited to tell you about. So. Um, if you haven't done so already, go to just agentmarketing.com before you log in. We've created a new little website front and kind of revamped some of the different things on here. Um, you can see all of the minions here that work uh, here within Agent Marketing. We've added in some pictures and stuff like that so you can take a look at all of us. Uh, we have a new samples page, which is so cool. I love the samples page now where you can see some different samples and kind of get some more info on some of the different things that we have. So take a look at it. Um, and then also, as you've logged into Agent Marketing, you know that there's a little bit different of a look, which is so cool. So I know we've talked about that the last couple weeks, um, but this is new. We're just kind of working on some new things and, and running along and getting some great things in the works for you guys. So we're really excited about all of this and um, you know, just continuing to work on some great things. Also, we have it to where we have now a responsive personal website. Now, a responsive, what it means when it's responsive is it's going to convert your website from the original desktop layout that you have. It's going to make that a mobile, the same mobile version of what your desktop version looks like. We have a fixed website currently, so it's still a mobile version website, but it's going to be a different template than what you have as your desktop version. So we have the responsive websites now. We have one available for you. It is in beta testing right now. Um, basically, beta testing, there could be some, some bugs and stuff like that that could happen. So we want you to go through, select layout 11, go through, and if you see anything that happens to it, just let us know. If there's an error or anything that doesn't work properly, let us know, and we will have it fully released next week. So um, we're really excited for that. You can choose to have it be responsive, or you can still do the fixed website if you like that. The fixed website is more property specific driven. It's going to have more of the IDX, the property search, and then your properties listed on there and stuff like that. Whereas the responsive website, it's going to be the exact version of what you have on your on your page now. So it, it just mimics your desktop version on your mobile, whereas the fixed is going to be a little bit of a different template, but all the same information. So you can kind of take a look and see what those look like. 
Um, we do have it to where you can see what the responsive websites are going to look like. And I believe um, maybe we don't have that up yet. Let me just see here. I don't think we have that part of it up yet, but we will have that available for you. So you can go through and you can select a theme and then you can choose to do your colors. Again, you'll see down at the bottom it has all the ones where it says highly customizable and then there are some that are not customizable. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're choosing a layout. If you're looking for something that's really customizable, then you'll want to go through and select that. So we're going to obviously have this as our topic today, so we'll go back to this section. There's one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, under the property tab, if you're a real estate agent and you're using the system and you have those text codes that you're using for your properties, we have it to where we have a texting option that sends a follow-up text. When you go to your property tab and then go to options, so you'll go over to the left-hand side and go to property and then go to options. And you'll see here it says texting options and then there's a thing that says follow up text. So we're gonna turn this on. Now what happens is we, when a consumer texts about the property, we send our, our fixed message that's gonna give them the property details for the mobile website and then a link to the a link to the property specific website and then also from there you can choose to have a follow-up text send I believe it's two to five minutes after the property after they've texted about the property so right now it says you can search all homes for sale here and then it's going to take it to your IDX if you have that set up you can change this to have any amount of characters that you want so I would test this out, text about a property, and then you'll get this follow-up text within two to five minutes after they text about the property. But you can have a follow-up text, so if they want to search for other homes, or if you want them to go to your website, or if you want them to, if you want to say thanks for texting about my listing, or whatever you want it to say within 140 characters, it will do that text message for you. So definitely really important to kind of go through and customize that if you choose to use it. If not, you can keep it as the static thing that we have for you here. That works as well. Uh, but just kind of a cool feature. It's a way to get, follow up with these clients. You get their cell phone number as soon as they text about the property anyways. But at least you're giving them a follow-up text message too to give them more info about the system. So I always love this and think it's a really cool addition to what we have. So. Uh, we have that, and then we're just continuing to work on some other great things for you guys. Again, any new things that come about, I will let you know. Um, so next week, just keep in mind, you'll have that layout 11 for the personal website. So now let's go ahead and get started with our topic today, personal websites. Now, personal marketing is really important. And the reason why I like having it within agent marketing is because with your brokerage, if you're a real estate agent, you'll probably get a website provided by them, but you may not have the flexibility to have it customized or really be able to change the content and really make it out to be your own brand or your own website. As a lender, you may have your company website, but you want to create a personal website about you. You can do that within the system. Brokers, you can create a brokerage website about you or your brokerage and you can have your agent roster on there and all your agents listed, listings listed on there. Sky is the limit with, the, it, with these personal websites. I mean, honestly, you could create a website about a certain community. You could do a special loan type that you want to do a website about. Anything you want, you can create a personal website about. So you'll see here that when you go to your personal tab, you have a section called personal website. Now these are going to be non-property specific. A personal website is going to be something that's geared maybe towards yourself, towards a specific community, maybe a niche website that you want to create, really giving you a lot of different things that you can create these websites about. So you have two different types. You have those property specific websites that are going to be geared towards your listings or towards your agent's listings. And then you have the personal websites, which is going to be a website about yourself and more, you know, custom website stuff. So just keep that in mind. There are both different options that you have. So we're going to focus on the personal website. So what you'll do if you haven't added in a website already, you'd click here on the Add New button. When you click on Add New, it's going to give you an option to add in a description. This is only for you to see. The, the general public or any consumers viewing your website will not see this. This is just a way for you to decipher which one is which website is which. 
So you'll have my website, and then maybe you're doing a community website, or maybe you want to create a sample website or something like that. So we'll just do this. I'm just going to do um, my sample website. So that way you guys can see exactly how it looks. So now when you click Save, it's going to add it onto your list of websites here. So I already have a website built. I have a community website. And then we're going to start a new website here. So you'll see you can have unlimited personal websites, which is so cool. You can create a website about yourself. And then if you're working in five different communities, you could create a community website for each one of those communities. And then if you wanted to create a website about um, a special niche market that you're working in. So maybe your specialty is you work with, um, you work in like the senior living communities. So you want to do a website specifically based to that. You could do that too. Or maybe your specialty is working with those beachfront luxury homes. You want to do a really cool luxury website. But then you also work with golf course homes, so you could do a golf course homes website. You can literally create a personal website about anything you want, which I love because it gives you so much flexibility in being able to change and customize these websites as much as you want. So now these tiles here will give you your statistics. If you want to have the website um, live, you'll see that you have this on off button. So you can choose to turn it off if you want to, and then you'll get a little message that says this website is offline. So you have that. Your stats are just giving you when you added it, giving you your website keys, the layout, colors, theme, and your domain that you have for this website. So it's giving you all of your different points for this specific website. And then you'll see if you do turn it offline, it will say that offline message. So we're going to turn this one back on. Um, it's a, literally a click of a button. You can click on, off to turn them on and off too. The third icon in is going to be the little monitor icon, which is viewing the website. So we're going to do that in a little bit because I want to show you the initial setup first, and then we'll take a look at what the website looks like. The next icon in is going to be choosing your layout. Now, like I said, we have the new layout available for you to choose. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can kind of take a look and see what these look like. So we'll have layout 12 coming. Uh, this should be scheduled to release in a couple weeks for you. And then we have layout 11 that is a beta release right now and will be fully functionally uh, released next week. And then also, sorry, my computer's being a little slow, so it's not loading everything quite the way it should, but just so you know. Um, we do have layout 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and then 3 was removed just because it wasn't really a, a great functioning website, so we skip down and go to layout 2 and 1. So we do have a lot of great website templates for you to choose from. You can go through and choose your layout, and it, again, it will tell you which one is highly customizable and which one you have limited customization on. So like on these bottom layouts here, you'll see that these ones cannot be customized. These here, layouts 4, 5, and 6, you can change the header on the top. So you can change this little front photo, and then that's really all the customization you can do on those. Uh, layout 7 and Layout 10 and obviously Layout 11, our new layout, are very customizable. So we can change the background and the photos and do a header and change out some other photos on the bottom and change the footer. So you get a lot more flexibility when you get into these highly customizable. Um, so if you're looking for a really customizable website with our graphics team, I would recommend choosing Layout 10 or 11 for our new templates. Layout 7 is pretty similar to Layout 10, so just kind of keep that in mind, too. You can go through and change any of these little headers here. So we're going to select Layout 10. We'll do this one, and I'm going to just select a theme. We're going to do the family pictures, and then we'll just do charcoal as the colors. So I've selected my layout here. I'm going to hit Save now. I'm going to zoom back in so you guys can see my screen pretty clear here. So now we're going to hit Back to List. So we've checked our, we've checked our uh, thing here. Oh, and something I forgot to remind you, too. So next to these little drop-down menus, you'll see that there's these little pictures or these little icons that are clickable. What you can do is click on these here, and it will give you an idea of what those um, themes look like. So you'll see here, this is the people one, and then these are the photos that we use for the families. So it's showing you the theme of what those look like. This one's a couple's. 
Um, and then the static images, these are what those images look like. So then you can kind of see the samples of what they look like. You can always go through and change your layout too. So if you choose a layout, you're always more than welcome to go ahead and uh, choose a different layout too. And then you can see the color schemes when you click on that one, charcoal, eggplant, all these different color schemes. But keep in mind, if we do not have the color listed here, just because it's not on here doesn't mean we can't change it. We know some of the brokerages have specific colors, so we can go through and match those colors. If you give us the little Pantone color codes, we can change that out for you too. So going back to the list, we've created our website and picked our template here. So the next option that you can do is go to the menu. Now going to the menu allows you to change the content, change the tabs, and really go through some of the information on the website. So you'll see here you have all of these different little icons here. Now this on off is going to give you the on off button. So if you want to turn that page off, like say you don't want the home value, so you're going to turn that page off. That one will no longer populate on your personal website. So you can choose to turn those on and off if you want to. Um, the Mobi version, if you choose, you can choose to click to turn these off for the mobile website. So if you don't want to have like the buyer's page populate on your mobile website, you can choose to turn those off. So the Mobi is basically for the mobile version. And then the menu option is going to allow you to change the actual text for the menu. So if you want to change the title, like with this one, this just says home value. So if you want to say, um, if you want to say home value report, so you can say home value report. And then um, this one, you could do the same home value report. So you can change the menu, which is going to show up as the actual clickable menu tab at the top. And then the page title is going to show up as the top little title that populates for that specific option. So you can go through and customize those different tabs that you want to and uh, kind of change those up. And then going into the actual page. So when you click on the page option, this allows you to go through and change the actual text that we put on the website. So you have some different um, set text that we create for you. I recommend going through and changing this and making it a little more to you. Go through and use this to give it an opportunity to customize your website to yourself. So when you're going through and you're customizing the menu or the pages, you can change this content to make it whatever you want. We do put uh, standard content on here, but if you're looking for better SEOing, I would definitely recommend going through here and changing the content and adding in your own content and really going through the pages and changing it. So you can choose to do that and customize that text and that information through the menu section. And that's going to be through the page. And then here you can go through and you can do edit the meta title and the meta description and the keywords. So if you want better ranking on SEO and you're familiar with how to do that, you can choose to do that as well. And then if you don't want pages, like say you don't want this glossary on here, you can click on the little trash can and it will remove that page for you. Now you have options to also add in your own pages and you can also group pages together. So say that you want to add in like the property search onto your page. So you can go through, we have some pretty common pages that a lot of our consumer or a lot of our customers will use. We have some static agent pages. So I'm going to choose to add in like the IDX on here. So I'm going to just do this and um, we'll just leave that as property search. So you can go through and you can add in a page. So we'll do that. So we're going to add in the property search. And now I'm going to drag it up. So you have a lot of flexibility with all these different pages. So you can click and drag the pages anywhere you want. So it shows up in the order you want on your personal website. So you have a lot of flexibility. And then you can also group pages together. So if you want to have um, like multiple community pages created, say you're working in five different communities, you can do add group and it can say view. Um, view communities and you can hit add and then what you can do is you can add on pages and you can add those in underneath so say that these are our community pages what I can do is drag them in underneath this group and then anytime that they go to click I'll show you what it looks like um, <clears throat> when they go to click on this view communities then all those communities would be listed in under here so I'm going to actually change this and I'm going to say 
um, we'll say real estate info. So we'll change that to where it makes a little more sense now for our page. So with this, this is going to allow you to really customize your pages and really go through and add and kind of edit the information. So now, now that we've gone through and done some customization, let's go see what our website looks like. So I'm going to click on this little third icon in here, which is going to be the View button. And we're going to pull up our website and see what it looks like. I'm really excited. So here we have our agent information displayed at the top. And then, sorry, my computer's being a little slow. So we have these photos that kind of scroll through here. I added in this property search tab at the top. So when consumers click on this, it will take them to my IDX, my property search, and they can search for listings, which is really cool. Layout 11, we've actually customized this a little bit too. So it's a little bit different than what you see here on Layout 10. And then remember how we did that group? So now you can click on the little drop-down menu and it will have those buyers and seller pages on there now. So you can create these little tabs here and then it will have the drop-down menus underneath, which is really cool. And then there's the home value report so they can get more information on the value of their report. Um, on layout 11, this is also a new image too, which is really cool. And we can customize this image as well. So if you want something a little bit different. Now keep in mind, this is just kind of a, a starting point. This is our blank canvas. So we can go ahead with our graphics team and we can change out the background colors. We can change out these photos here. And if you have specific photos that you want to use for these, you can. So if you're maybe in the Miami area and you want to have some cool little beach photos that are more relevant for Miami, then what we can do is create five different um, sliding photos for you and add them into your website. If you have photos that you want to send to us, that's awesome. We prefer you do that so then we get the exact images that you want to use. If not, we have some iStock images that we can use as well for you. So just keep that in mind. Um, we can do that. If you have sample websites that you want to, that you really like, let us know too so we can kind of get the design similar to that sample website that you have. So these websites are pretty cool. Um, they have a lot of flexibility. And then going into some more options here, um, like if you go to this little tool section or the little wrench icon, this is going to give you more little options for your personal website. So here you can go through and you can do a little search on your header or um, do a little search on the personal website so people can search directly from your, your home page for the IDX. So you can add one of these on. So we'll click this one and have that show. Um, you can choose to turn some of these pages off. So if you want to turn some of the, let me show you what the website looks like here. So say that you want to turn these little blue circle or these little uh, bubble circles off, you can choose to turn those off. So we'll turn that on or turn it off. So you have a lot of different sections that you can go through and you can customize and change this. Also, if you need a specific disclaimer to populate, you can add in your disclaimer through the um, tool section and then also if you're using Google Analytics as well. So we do give you a lot of flexibility with these and being able to change them. Um, also, if you've purchased a domain name, whether it be through GoDaddy or through our system, you can hook it up through Agent Marketing. So you would just go to your personal tab and your personal websites and then where it says URL, you can choose to click on that and that will take you to the domain screen. Now we recommend purchasing a domain name for your main website. Like if you are Angie Agent, you could do AngieAgent.com or I would do AaronOlson.com or AaronTheAwesomeAgent.com, something like that. So you can purchase domains if you want to and hook them up to the website. We do provide you with free URLs for all of your websites within the system, but for SEO purposes and making you look better, you might as well spend the $10 and purchase a domain name for your website and get that done. Again, you can purchase them through Agent Marketing if you want to, or if you purchased it to, through, say, like GoDaddy, you can click here on this little tour sign and we give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get that changed over from GoDaddy and point it to your website within Agent Marketing. So again, you can access that from either going to the personal tab and personal website, and you'll see that there's this little URL uh, tag that you can click on, or you can also go to your personal tab, 
and then go to domain management and that will also take you to that screen. So we give you some pretty detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to change the DNS settings through GoDaddy or any other place that you've purchased your domain. So a lot of cool things you can do with these websites and then next week we're going to focus on customization for them. Just to kind of give you a little preview and we'll go more in depth on it next week, here's some custom websites. Uh, this is going to be our layout, ele uh, layout 10. So this one's been pretty well customized. Uh, we went through and we changed the photos here at the top for her and then did a little custom header. And then here's another one. This is going to be layout nine. This one I believe is layout four. This one is going to be layout um, 10. So we have went through and we did the custom header and then we've changed out the, the little um, tabs here. We've customized those. Uh, we got rid of some of the information on here and made it pretty specific. And then here is Layout 7. So this is another great little website. So we've created this little background uh, image, the static image, and added in this top banner. So you have a lot of flexibility being able to customize these and really make them your own. So just keep that in mind. Next week we're going to focus on doing the customization, and I'll show you how to get that all started. So let's go ahead and open it up for questions here. Um, so do we need to purchase a separate domain name for each one of these? Um, it's up to you. I personally think it's necessary. We do provide you with those free URLs, but you don't have to um, if you don't want to purchase it. But sometimes you can get domains for like 10 to 12 bucks and it's good for the whole year. So might as well spend the 10 to 12 dollars and get that domain so that way it shows up on that website. And you can purchase them through Agent Marketing or you can choose to purchase them elsewhere and point it over. Um, there was another question asking me if you can upload your own photos. Um, you can, but we recommend doing it with our graphics team just so we have the highest resolution possible. So, I mean, you can go through and upload your own photos. If you go to this little photo camera icon here, it gives you an option to upload your own photos, but I definitely recommend having our graphics team do it just because it, we kind of have more access to the back end and uh, doing it that way so it's a little bit more professional. Um, can you have several URLs pointing to the web, the same website? Yes, you can. You can have multiple domains. So if you have AngieAgentIsAwesome.com and AngieAgent.com and AngieAgentIsTheBestRealtorEver.com, you can have that all going to the one website. So you can have multiple websites going to that specific website if you want to. Um, like, let's see. Sorry, just reading through here. Um, so custom, or changing the domain, uh, the GoDaddy domain settings, there is no additional cost. Um, you can still manage your domain name through GoDaddy if you point it to the agent marketing website. It's just changing the DNS settings. So if they go to angieagent.com, it goes to your agent marketing website versus, say, the just GoDaddy landing page or anything like that. Um, can we link this to a non-agent uh, non marketing website? Um, I'm not sure what you mean with that. Uh, is this recorded of this and other classes? Yes, we do have our YouTube channel. Let me just grab that YouTube channel here real quick. And I'll post that in the chat box for you. Uh, with the YouTube channel, they are recorded. So be sure if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Anytime a video gets uploaded, you do get notified, so you have access to the YouTube channel. I just responded back to the question, and uh, so everybody should be able to see the link, and it's also in the chat box. So if you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. They are uploaded instantly for you, so you are able to get that recording in case you happen to miss. Um, how do you find the AM, uh, agent marketing DNS settings? That's going to be under the personal tab, and then you go to domain management. And then you'll see here it says click the tour sign for instructions. And you'll click next, and here you have the DNS settings. So this is the IP address you'll have to change it to. These are step-by-step -step for GoDaddy. So just follow these step-by-step. -step. If you need help or have questions, feel free to call our support hotline number two and our tech team, our tech support team or our support team can help 
with that um, domain, getting that domain over for you or with you. So you'll have to log into your GoDaddy account and follow these steps. So make sure you go through and you go through this all the way to the very end because this will give you those step-by-step -step instructions on making sure you get that all set up. All right. Any other questions? Anything else? Anything else? Uh, what is the difference between a personal website and a squeeze page? A personal website is going to be geared towards yourself or a specific community, whereas a squeeze page is just a landing page to capture consumer information. So it's a one page, a squeeze page is a one page landing page where consumers go and fill out their information and then that's it, whereas a personal website has those clickable tabs, a lot of good information branded towards the real estate agent, the lender, the broker, all of that stuff. So um, that would be the big difference between that. All right. Well, it looks like that's it for questions. So again, next week we're going to be doing the marketing makeover discussion, kind of going more in depth with customizing the personal website. Um, I'll have some samples for you guys to take a look at. And then also on the 5th of July, keep in mind we are going to be doing a question and answer day. So if you have questions or specific topics you would like to discuss on that, please email me so I can have some stuff together and ready to go for the question and answer. Um, my email is erin, E-R-I-N, at agentmarketing.com. And I'd love to answer all of those uh, questions and do that. So I figure the 5th of July we'll do question and answer day, not focus on any specific topics, but go through and answer all your questions and get that going. So um, it looks like that's it. Thank you so much, everyone, for attending today. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your Wednesday. Have a great rest of your week. And we will see you next Wednesday for Marketing Makeover Info. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful day.